What's going on YouTube Gen X? So I got a question from um, a young man um, who's in college right now um, and I guess he is involved with a woman who is single according to what she says but she's not sure where her and her ex-boyfriend stand. Um, and this young man was asking me my take on how he should proceed because he's got conflicting pieces of advice and opinions from the other men around him. Um, some are telling him to fall back. Some are telling him, you know, pretty much you can win her over. You know, if you really want her, go after her. Um, and for me, I tend to side with the men who tell you to fall back. Um, I don't believe in this whole idea of a woman leaving a man for another man. If you're going to break up with a man, do so on your own accord, okay? Do so out of your own free will. Um, I, don't, I don't buy this whole uh, women have a hard time being single um, if you have to go from one man to another man, that is a sign of weakness. It's not a female trait. That is a pure sign of weakness. Um, it's as simple as that, right? Um, and, and plus, to me, I just don't like the whole idea of a woman still being involved with the man and another man is coming through. Um, and, you know, I don't want to say being a home wrecker, but he's involving himself because what happens if it's the other way around? Okay, what happens if we're going through a hard time and she's going to do to me what she did to the ex-boyfriend? Regardless of who's right and who's wrong, you don't let somebody else come in um, and play a part in what you have going on. You handle that on your own, right? So for me, if you're going to leave the dude, you're going to do so on your own free will. Now, I have buddies who disagree with me. And we've got into plenty debates and arguments because they feel like, nah, you should, you know, uh, be that sort of Romeo sort of guy. And I would sit back and, you know, tell them, well, how did that work out for you? Because most of the time it doesn't work. Right? I'm, I'm sorry, it doesn't work. Um, and it doesn't work, A, because the guy's not going to let her go. See, it's funny because a lot of women have this idea that her and the ex <clears throat> may get back together, but what happens, right? It's not officially over till she finds out that he's been messing around with other women or he may have a girlfriend um, and he's doing his thing. It's as simple as that. That's how guys operate. They're not going to let her go. That's why as a man, I don't get involved. It goes back to the greed that men have. I'm not going to lie. Like I said, I haven't always been the most upstanding guy in the room. So I know how men operate. They're not going to let her go, even if they are doing their own thing on the side, which 90% of the time, they are. Okay, you know, he has the chicks on the side, and he's doing what he has to do, and it takes some time, and then that, you know, the, the girlfriend finds, the ex-girlfriend finds out. It seems to happen all the time, right? So for me, I'm not going to put myself in that sort of situation. I'm just not. Because they don't understand how men operate. If he's single, he's single. Regardless if you guys are still trying to work it out. In his eyes, he is single. The women will say, well, I'm kind of single, but I'm still involved. But he's telling other women that he's flat out single. Right? It's as simple as that. And he's telling you um, what you think you, know, you, he want, you want to hear so that you're staying around and, you know, you're not uh, completely moved on because it's an ego booster to know that you have your own shit going on, but yet you still have the ex-girlfriend who is kind of still in your back pocket. So for me, I just don't evolve myself in that situation. That's why I say before, if you're going to leave them, you're going to do so on your own free will, right? Um, because I don't do the whole, well, you know... I have to proceed with caution because my ex-boyfriend, like, he has nothing to do with what's going on, right? If you still have to check in or if you still have to be mindful <clears throat> of his feelings, then I'm not going to deal with you, right? I mean, just imagine, um, you know, you're trying to move on 
um, from a, a woman's standpoint, yet the guy you're trying to move on with is checking in with his ex-girlfriend or, you know, she's, you know, somehow still playing some sort of role in his life, you're not going to like it at all, right? You're not going to want to deal with all that. You're going to tell him, hey, take care of that situation and then come back and holler at me, right? <clears throat> I would never tell another woman to, you know, uh, go compete with the ex-girlfriend and you have to win that man over. No, right? I don't, I don't believe in all that. Uh, second reason to why I would tell you fall back is the whole idea of overvaluing history. Now, I, I did this video a long time ago, um, but a lot of women um, value history in terms of I've been with this guy for X amount of time. Even if that time was horrible, even if that time was filled with a whole bunch of horrible moments, right, more bad than good, they'll hold on to the few good moments and they'll, and they'll give value to the simple fact that they were together for an extended amount of time, literally, right? I've seen chicks who got their BA, grad school, and they're still with bum men, right, um, who aren't trying to achieve on their level, and they're still with them because of history, because, oh, I've been with him since 06, I've been with him since 05, 04, we've been on and off since here, and it really hasn't been the most productive, but they're still awarding points, so oftentimes, there's nothing you can do to compete with that. There really is. There's nothing you can do that's going to compete with a woman who wants to overvalue history. So you're going to be wasting your time. Um, last point that I want to make. When it comes to women who want serious relationships, they don't understand um, who they necessarily have to choose. What do I mean? As men, when we want to have fun, we know the type of chick that we're going to be going for, right? But if we want something more significant, then we know that there's, certain, there's another certain type of chick that we're looking for. So we don't confuse the two. So if I'm looking for something more serious, I'm not trying to find the jump off, right? And try to take her and form some sort of meaningful relationship. Or if I'm looking for the jump off, I'm not going to take, um, you know, the, 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 the decent chick and try to uh, mold her into that sort of jump off. It's just not going to work like that. But for a lot of women, because of how feminism has pretty much fucked their own mind up, to be real with you, right? Um, and I made this point before in terms of the sexual liberation. A lot of women weren't ready to handle it emotionally. That's why I don't believe in casual sex for women because they can't separate emotion um, from the act of sex. And it's really fucked up a lot of women, okay? You have women who want to be the bad girl, but their feelings and emotions are telling them they want something more concrete, right? Hence the whole, I want to make the bad boy into the boyfriend. So when it comes down to women who want to be in meaningful relationships, especially if she's younger, they really don't know how to separate the two. So literally, they will consider the bad boy um, with the dude who's going somewhere because they don't know how to separate the two. They're not sure what to do, right? And that's another reason to why I'm telling you, you shouldn't get yourself involved, right? Because the way she's painting the picture to you, you know, she's looking for something more significant. But I can guarantee you that the other guy probably doesn't have much going on, right? He probably doesn't have much going on at all. And you're thinking, and we've all been there, you're thinking, hey, I'm in school, I'm going places, and this guy isn't, so it's a no-brainer. Over time, I'm going to win her over. And a lot of brothers have thought that same way. I have too, only to get disappointed. Once again, because she's not going to factor that in. She's not going to be able to separate the two, right? Um... So, you know, that's my opinion. I think you should just, you know, really leave it alone. Not to say that, you know, it's a wrap for her, but if she gets her situation taken care of, right, <clears throat> and you guys can talk and work things out without having to worry about some other guy, right, um, then you guys can possibly try to work things out. But it's never going to happen that way.
Trust me, it's not going to happen. Especially if the ex-boyfriend finds out that she's talking to you or the fact that she's talking to another guy. He will purposely try to fuck your situation up even if he has his own chick, even if he's doing his, you know, his own thing on the side, which he will be doing. He will purposely say, no, nah, I don't want that because it goes back to the greed of men. You know, it is what it is. It goes back to that greed. Right? I, I, I don't want her. Right? Or I'm trying to move on. But at the same time, I still want to know that she's emotionally attached to me. Right? And a lot of guys like it. Right? I'm not even going to lie. Like I said before, you know, I, I've been through that sort of situation and it's not the best thing to do. But for a lot of guys, they like the fact that this chick isn't going to be happy without me and I can play on her emotions so you're in a bad position man you know you're not in a good position it's not an equal playing field and once again uh, and plenty of brothers will come on and testify to this you will try to be that upstanding sort of guy and I guarantee you she will use you right to fulfill whatever sort of emotional need that she has right and that will give her the sort of What's what I'm looking for? Boost in spirituality or even emotionally to further wait for this guy. You know, like it, it's as simple as that. For me, I'm like, you're going to crash and burn, right? If you're not realizing that it's over, you're going to crash and burn, right? Because I'm not going to come through and build you up only to give you more energy to deal with that man. Right, because you know if he's tearing you down or it's not going your way, you can come back at me and say, hey, can we go out or can we hang out only for her to then say, okay, I'm going to go back and see if I can work things out with the ex. It happens all the time, man. Um, I wish I could tell you otherwise. I wish I can tell you, oh, you know, you can go compete for that girl and you can win her, her over. Um, because you can show her that you're a man who's going somewhere, but our society isn't like that, right? And, and literally, you know, women do not know who to choose when they want a serious relationship. They really don't, right? Um, it is what it is. So the dude who's supposed to be the guy for fun, right? Or, you know, the, the short-term guy, oh, I'm trying to wild out, I'm young. They don't know how to say that's one type of guy. Now I'm trying to move on, so I need to be looking for another type of guy, right? It, it, it doesn't happen that way. I don't know, you know, we can get into the why, right? Um, like I said before, in terms of, you know, this whole idea of control your sexuality, but, you know, negating your emotional, um, you, you know, your emotional sort of uh, self. Um, but, you know, that's for a different bit. So anyways... You know, hopefully you understand where I'm coming from. Um, <laughs> you can go with the hopefulness or you can go with the reality of life and the reality of men that have come before you. Um, and this is not even just from a black male's point of view. Other men will tell you this. Other men will tell you about how they tried to deal with a chick, but the ex-boyfriend was in the way and she got confused and they ended up uh, coming out the loser. So, like I said, you're going to go with actual evidence or you're going to go with the whole hypothetical what should happen in an ideal world so anyways it is what it is y'all take it easy god bless